Hello there. So, He Who Fights with Monsters 10, and I'm really enjoying this series. One thing that has a downside, it seems like he goes too far sometimes in the, in the story where it just can't complete an arc. Uh, this book is starting to feel a lot like 5 did, where 5 was basically, there was so much in it that they split it into two books, and then the second part just felt really flat. This one feels like the end of five, so I'm afraid that 11 is just going to feel like an incomplete book. It's going to feel like, oh, okay, this is just tacked on to the last part. Other than that, I mean, I enjoy the story. I, I've always liked the concept, like uh, the, the Supermans, the One Punch Mans, the, the type of being so powerful, but not able to access all your power. Like Superman, the, one of the greatest quotes from Justice League is like, he feels like he lives in a world made of cardboard. Right here, his issue is he's surrounded by people more powerful than him. And the thing is, he has all that power. He's more powerful than all of them. The problem is he just hasn't unlocked it all. It, it's, it's weird where you're in the kind of that, like it, it's a video game where you have access to all this stuff, you have the access to the tree of uh, specialization to where you can unlock perks and weapons and things like that. You're just not a high enough level to access it all. You do have it, but you just can't. So the, that's the thing, it's like it really leans into the lit RPG. Cause I was, I was wondering, it's just like, it doesn't, I don't like it. I don't like how he's like, oh yeah, but video games, you, of course, you're always the top character. You're always powerful. You can always unlock stuff going forward. You're always the most powerful person. You're just anchored. So I like that it's leaning into that. I don't know if he intentionally did that, but that's how it's feeling to me. It's basically like that that uh, tree of selecting what things you unlock. And it, I enjoy how the characters are written. I really do. I enjoy the, like, I honestly feel like he shouldn't have the friends. That's the one thing that seems to be holding him back from going full, you know, boss villain. Because he has the capability of what who he is and what his power base is, base is to just rule on his own. Do his own thing and, S, like, become diamond rank. I've always, never liked that kind of stuff. But, yeah, become diamond rank very quickly. But the thing is, he's he anchored himself down being grounded. I mean, that's why the, what, the World Phoenix sent Dawn to him in the first place, because she had lost... He's keeping himself grounded, even though he identifies with... He relates to the, the people who are far past him, far beyond him, who are far surpass him in, in, well, at this point in time, in power, because he just hasn't unlocked his yet. I find that is a very in interesting concept. The big issue in this one is just, like, the, the, the messengers send out a task, they have to go into the Earth... They have to, to repair the, 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 the issue that the messengers caused. And right when they're about to fix it, right when everything's about to happen, it was like, boom, game over. Or not game over, but the end. We'll come back later to see how this episode concludes or this, this season concludes. And it's just like, oh my gosh, this is reminding me of book five. It, it, it's okay. As long as the author comes out with the book very soon, I'm not going to have an issue with it. I don't like it when things have these huge cliffhangers and it's like, well, I've done my part. If he was like, okay, I've written this whole thing. It's far too long. I want more money for it. We can split it into two parts and I'll just have the second part come out a few months later. I'd be all down for that. I don't mind spending more for something as long as I get access to it quickly. It's having to wait an entire year. <laughs> is the part where I was just like, no, I don't want to do that. I don't want to do that. I'm so eager to find out where things are going. But yeah, I, I like how Jason basically is preventing himself from leveling up because he just doesn't want to leave his friends behind. You're sure they all have the capability. And yes, you can say that a few of them, you know, are, are definitely necessary. But in the end, Jason has the power to exceed them all, to surpass them all. Sure, they can follow. Sure, a lot of them would follow him if he left the group, because a lot of them in the group are just tying everyone down. Or they're just preventing anyone from moving forward, but it, it's okay. It's not a big deal. It's more of a, a structure. It's more wholesome. It's more down to earth, because he loses himself. I love the the concept of, like, the morality, the, the, the jokes on, like, political ideals, because none are correct. All are fault, uh, faulty in their own way. And I like how this one kind of talks about some and makes fun of them at the same time while talking about others. And it's, I, I enjoy it. I enjoy it. It's not saying, oh, this is absolute. I've gone through books where it's just like, oh, socialism is the only way to go. Or other books where it's like, capitalism is the only way to go. Or other books and it's just like, 
No. No, there's no concrete evidence that any of them are good. <laughs> because the biggest flaw in all of them is people. <laughs> people are the flaw. People are the biggest flaw. So it, 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 I, I like how this one kind of brings them all in and jokes about them all individually. I like how Jason has his own ideals, but in the first book, he went back on his own ideals at the very beginning. Why? Because because he, he basically, I like how this one kind of acknowledges it as he's talking to other people uh, throughout the books. It's like he lived in a cushy world, a cushy life where violence isn't really thi a thing. And then he goes to another world where it's violence is expected. And uh, yeah, of course, he would have to change his ideology. He'd have to change his, his, uh, but he has to find his way back to those morals somehow. And this one's primarily trying to anchor himself to, to his team. But it is funny how they introduce the power structure. They introduce his, his ability to resurrect. And then the very next time, the very next book is just like, we don't need it no more. We don't need it no more. It's, I, I find that so aggravating. It's like, what power did he unlock now? What power did he unlock now to, to tr for that trade? Because it seemed like that deal was made, you know, with, with something positive for him. Sure, his, his, uh, he's feeling more of a like a deity now I, i'm because that's the thing it's like they're talking about how purity was sanctioned how the original builder was sanctioned is jason going to end up replacing the builder now was the builder basic because this is one thing that's that's uh, bothering me why did uh, uh phoenix have so much control over the builder well they talked about the originals what if the phoenix was an original astral king and the originals all basically got to a point to where they were got so much power that they became more than an astral king what, what if what if that's the thing what if that's the case and what if the builder was just one of her messengers that's why she can control him because he he she still has his her mark on him i mean that could be a possibility that's an interesting thought but then again he was an astral king but you, you know what it, it, there's a lot of stuff in this there's a lot of stuff that just makes it so interesting in the fact that all diamonds are are they, they refer to them as kind of like uh, hermits. They travel around. Because when you live forever, when you have eternity, what are you going to do? So they travel around doing their own thing. <laughs> they they focus in on their craft. Yeah, but I, I've really been enjoying this series. I've gone through it multiple times. Like even before book 10 came out, I went through it, I think, four times in a row. Just because I, I, I wanted to, you know, just be all excited for it. And then I get to book 10 and I'm like... All right, but it didn't have an ending. There's no ending to this book. It just continues on. Of course, they always continue on because he who fights with monsters, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, now 10. But it was basically like, no, don't end it like that because that is not an ending. The last book ended perfectly because it's kind of like everything was summed up. Uh, Jason was hiding away after the battle was finished and he got his messengers. He would have access to information. He'd have access to all this extra stuff. Yeah. But Colin wakes up, which was honestly really cool. And Melody went into the, the his, his, his astral kingdom and now is stuck there. Because <laughs> they she, she passes out after everything and then doesn't wake up. I guess it's basically like the same thing that happened to June Casta. The messenger that he tortured to get uh, access to her soul. She's going to be... Because her soul was basically being tortured for the past... 10 ish years uh the sophie's mother 18 20 20 something years oh, it's been like 20 years yeah her soul was being tortured so yeah she's probably clocked out for a while it probably won't be halfway till book 11 till where she wakes up and then we learn all this this other stuff but yeah yeah <laughs> I'm, I enjoy this story. I just didn't like how it ended. It was like, come on. Why would you do that to us? Why? We were so excited to, to just see this happen. I mean, at least have the, the whole thing finished. But it was like, nope. That's probably going to be a huge section in the book. Because they have the, the, the undead. They have the... Oh, yeah, it's just the undead and Jason's group. But I guess Jason's group will all be split up because they're all at different places. But yeah, I'm interested to see where it goes. I really hope it comes out soon because... <laughs> I'm an impatient person when it's something I really, really, really want. Thank y'all for watching. Talk to you next time. Doodles.